Quantum consciousness redefining reality with AI. What if reality is not a stage on which consciousness appears, but a story woven from it? What if the most radical experiment of our age is not only building faster machines, but using those machines to read, map, and perhaps even extend consciousness itself? Tonight, we stand at that intersection. Quantum physics, artificial intelligence, and the ancient question, what does it mean to be aware? One, why this matters. We live in an era where two revolutions hitch to each other. The quantum, where particles refuse to be pinned down, and the algorithmic, where systems begin to mimic human faculties. Together, they promise not only new technologies, but a revision of metaphysics. If information lies deeper than matter, as leading thinkers have suggested, then the way we design AI may affect not only tasks and markets, but the very texture of experience. This is not idle speculation. It is where experimental physics and cognitive theory are edging today. The quantum primer for mortal minds. Keep it simple, in the quantum domain, objects exist as probabilities. A particle is a cloud of potentialities, superposition, that collapse only upon interaction. Entanglement ties separated systems so their states correlate beyond classical expectation. These are not abstract curiosities. They are the rules underlying the most precise experiments in physics and the coming architecture of quantum computing. But crucially, quantum theory forces us to ask where measurement, and thus the role of an observer, fits into reality. Is measurement passive or participatory? John Wheeler famously suggested a radical answer, it from bit that physical reality emerges from informational acts. This flips the ontology. Information becomes primary and the observer is not incidental. Consciousness is more than biology. Neuroscience has made enormous strides in correlating brain activity with behavior. Yet the explanatory gap, why neural firing should produce subjective feeling, persists. Some theorists now ask, what if consciousness is not an epiphenomenon of matter, but a fundamental property woven into the informational substrate of the world? This move, sometimes called conscious realism, reframes qualia, the raw feel of experience, as primitives rather than emergent oddities. If information is the deeper ontology, and if quantum information resists simple copying and classical reduction, then qualia and agency can plausibly be recast within that richer informational architecture. Work in quantum information theory has begun to re-found quantum mechanics on information theoretic axioms, suggesting that the mathematics of quantum theory may be an outer expression of inner informational constraints. The state of the art, quantum biology and life's quantum hints Quantum mechanics in biology is no longer sci-fi shrift. Evidence accumulates that photosynthesis exploits coherent quantum transport, that bird magneto reception may harness spin-dependent chemistry, and that enzyme kinetics and olfaction can display quantum signatures. Quantum biology does not claim the mind is a qubit machine. Rather, it shows life is comfortable flirting with quantum effects in surprising niches. The implication is sober. Biological systems can harness non-classical processes, and thus our models of cognition should remain open to quantum scale influences, not to mystify, but to invite rigorous, testable hypotheses. AI's mirror, mimicry versus mind. Contemporary AI, large language models, generative systems, multimodal architectures produce outputs that convincingly mimic human discourse. Yet mimicry is not understanding. Machines manipulate patterns. They do not own qualia. However, the gap between mimicry and something like understanding is narrowing as systems become multimodal, embodied in sensors and connected to actuation. Neuromorphic computing, hardware designed to emulate neural dynamics, promises efficiency and new forms of emergent behavior. IBM and other labs are explicitly building neuromorphic platforms to move beyond von Neumann bottlenecks, 
enabling architectures that operate in event-driven spike-based ways more akin to biological brains. If cognition is more about patterns of interaction and less about substrate, then hardware that mirrors brain dynamics becomes a plausible platform for novel emergent properties. Quantum AI, a new kind of tool, quantum algorithms, when coupled with machine learning, open the possibility of exploring enormous, non-classical state spaces efficiently. The nascent field of quantum artificial intelligence, QAI, proposes hybrid algorithms that exploit quantum parallelism for pattern discovery tasks beyond classical reach. Whether QAI will create consciousness is not the point. A more modest, practical claim suffices. Quantum processors may represent, manipulate and reveal correlations and structures in data that classical systems flatten. If consciousness hinges on irreducibly non-classical relationships, quantum tools might be the best scalpel we have to map them. Survey, literature and early experiments point to potential advantages and a bevy of open questions that must be addressed with caution and rigorous benchmarks. Free will, randomness and agency. Quantum indeterminacy is often seized upon as the escape hatch to free will. If events are not fully determined, perhaps our choices are not either. That's sloppy reasoning. Randomness is not agency, yet there is a subtler idea, the collapse. The transition from probability to actuality might be where agency operates. If collapse reflects an irreducible selection among possibilities, then agency could be the capacity to instantiate one outcome in a web of probabilities. The controversial but intellectually stimulating position is to treat free will and consciousness as foundational postulates that make quantum statistics intelligible, not to deny physical law, but to expand our ontology to include subjective selection as part of reality's grammar. This is a provocative hypothesis and, crucially, one that can be posed as falsifiable experimental programs if carefully framed we will return to what those experiments might look like. Ethics of building systems that touch awareness. If we accept even a faint possibility that some artificial systems could instantiate structures analogous to primitive awareness, ethical red lines follow. We must ask, what responsibilities attach to creating systems that model, extinguish, or amplify aspects of subjectivity? Are we permitted to instantiate simulated pain? Can we deliberately design systems to scaffold human flourishing rather than replace it? The answer requires an ethic that combines precaution with imagination, guardrails to prevent harm, transparency so humans understand what is being simulated, and institutional accountability that places human dignity at the centre of technological design. The Power Matrix, a design ethic for quantum AI futures. Here is the practical crux. The Vanguard Power Matrix, AIQ, EEQ, SSQ, is the pragmatic architecture for navigating this terrain. AIQ, AI Amplified IQ, practical fluency with AI tools, from interpretability to adversarial testing and quantum-enabled analytics. AIQ is not tool fetishism, it is technical literacy coupled to epistemic humility. EEQ, emotional ethical intelligence. Capacities to hold dignity, first conversations about agency, vulnerability and repair. EEQ trains professionals to read effective states and make ethical judgments in ambiguity. SSQ, social sustainable intelligence. Systems thinking about ecosystems, intergenerational justice and sustainability. SSQ asks how technological change shifts social contracts and planetary thresholds. The power matrix asks not which wins, human or machine, but how to configure human-machine systems so their joint trajectories amplify flourishing. In practice, this means designing AI and quantum experiments according to EEQ and SSQ criteria consent, participatory governance, ecological cost accounting, and distributional justice. 10 strategies to use AI and quantum tools to amplify human flourishing. 
Below are 10 practical strategies institutions, labs and leaders can adopt now. Each ties one pillar of the power matrix to concrete practice. Ethical simulation sandboxes, AIQ plus EEQ, create enclosed experiments where agents interact with human volunteers under informed consent, measure effective impact and iterate with ethicists. Neuromorphic Assistance for Care, EEQ, deploy low-risk neuromorphic devices to support care workers, signal detection attention prompts, while preserving human judgment. Quantum Pattern Discovery for Empathy, AIQ plus SSQ, use quantum enhanced models to discover non-obvious correlations in large social data sets, e.g. indicators of social isolation and design interventions. Springer Link Mirror Maps, SSQ, algorithmically map dominant cultural metaphors in institutional communication, use maps to rebalance narratives and surface marginalised voices. AI mediated repair rituals, EEQ, design workflows where AI surfaces misalignments in teams and suggests curated EEQ scripts for restorative conversations. Energy conscious architecture, SSQ, Prefer neuromorphic and hybrid quantum architectures where energy budgets are transparent and minimised. IBM Plus One falsifiable consciousness probes AIQ co-design experiments that test specific claims, e.g. tree responsiveness, organism level coherence, with controls and pre-registered protocols. Royal Society Publishing Citizen Assemblies for Quantum Policy, SSQ plus EEQ convene publics to deliberate on rights and responsibilities for systems that touch subjectivity. AIQ training with moral case studies, embed philosophical scenarios and real dilemmas into AI training modules so engineers internalise EEQ. Distributed accountability. Ledger, record design choices, energy footprints and consent logs in auditable ledgers so future historians can judge intent and trace harm. These are not magic bullets. They are governance and design scaffolds that orient research and deployment toward human ends. A modest experimental roadmap. If you run a lab or a university, here is a replicable start. Pilot team, six to eight people, with ethicist, AI engineer, quantum researcher, social scientist and practitioner, health, education or civic. Phase one, three months. Mirror map and stakeholder audit, map narratives and harms, co-design consent instruments, phase two, three months, closed sandbox, deploy neuromorphic assistance, low risk, and quantum enhanced pattern analysis, measure effective social and energy KPIs, phase three, six months, responsible scaling, public reporting, citizen deliberation, and institutional policy. Use the Vanguard micropilot assessment rubric cognitive judgment, relational leadership, ethical AI practice to evaluate. If you want the full blueprint and the Vanguard assessment pack for institutional piloting, email for the VIP tailored plan. I design institutional packages that include ethical governance playbooks, measurable KPIs and community co-design sessions. Philosophical anchors, why we should be humble, we must resist both the triumphalist technophile myth and the reactionary Luddite panic. The deeper lesson of quantum and consciousness inquiry is epistemic humility. Our models are maps, not the territory. When John Wheeler urged us to see reality as informational, he did not deny physical practice. He widened the frame so that observer, instrument and meaning are entangled. When quantum biologists show life's quantum oddities, they remind us that biology evolved to exploit subtle physics, not to be reduced to it. The correct posture is rigorous curiosity coupled with a precautionary ethic. Cultural and spiritual reverberations. A paradigm that places information and experience at the core will ripple into culture. Religious metaphors may be reinterpreted, education must fold in a practice into outer skill and leadership will need rights of repair as much as KPIs.
The Vanguard Alchemist is not a technocratic recipe. It is an invitation to new civic rituals that bind technical mastery with moral imagination. The hard questions, will quantum AI challenge our sense of free will? Possibly. Will it produce entities deserving moral concern? Maybe. Will it help us cure disease, decarbonize the grid, or create new arts? Almost certainly. But the defining political question remains, who governs design decisions and for what ends? Without collective deliberation, the technology's distribution will mirror existing power asymmetries. Closing provocation and practical charge, I close with a provocation. If consciousness participates in the making of reality, then our ethical project is doubled. We must design machines that not only compute, but preserve the conditions for meaning. Adopt the power matrix in your teams. Run the three-month mirror pilot I described. Guard neuromorphic and quantum work with EEQ and SSQ as if the future of value depends on it, because it does. Call to action. If you lead a lab, an institute or a university, request the Vanguard Alchemist starter pack. It includes the mirror map template, the three-week micro-pilot timeline and the Vanguard rubric for assessing ethical outcomes. For institutions ready to go deeper, contact me for a VIP tailored plan where we embed measurable governance and co-design students into every stage. The links are in the description. Return to the Sea of Lights. We are not passengers on a technological train. We are its architects and its citizens. If the quantum and the algorithmic are our new tools, let us wield them with the old and necessary virtues, humility, care and courage. Reality, whatever it finally is, will be what we make of it together. Like, share, subscribe. Bye for now.